Hey guys, Steven Bash here, and this is WWE Great Balls of Fire 2017 review. Okay, let's get started here. Um, let's start off with Neville and Akira Tozawa on the pre show. Really good match. Neville won, not that surprising, but it was a good match, and probably Akira. Um, Tozawa is going to get the rematch, but that's okay. He's probably going to lose anyway. But still, okay match. Um, the show opens up with Bray Wyatt and um, um, Seth Rollins. I mean, the match, the, ma the match itself was okay. Um, the ending was... Um, Good with um with the eye poke and and then Seth was like ah oh, well can't do anything and well Bray won. That's um good, but I it was still a really really solid match. But I don't really know what they're fighting for. It's like it's just it feels like filler. It. Uh, I don't know what this storyline is supposed to be. I don't know what they are fighting for. It doesn't make any sense. Nobody has no purpose. If you don't have no purpose, it's just a match. And this is where they feel here. If they had a story, a story that makes sense and don't have stupidness like this, it could have been good, but mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not, not good. Again, solid match, but story I don't really know what the hell they're doing okay let's start um, let's go <coughs> to big um to big cast versus Enzo Amore as we uh, um, as we know big cast betray Enzo Amore um, a few weeks ago and this story has, has been really, really interesting. I really want to see what's gonna happen here because this this storyline was really, really good, really good. Um, the match itself, it it it, 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 it was just it, it was just a domination. It was just domination, and some more getting dominated the whole way. I guess this one is domination, and I think this is bad, but not that much, because this kind of feeds into the story. One, it makes the cast look like a mean, a mean, a mean, a mean, a, mean, a, mean, a, mean, a heel, a heel like he's supposed to look like, just beat down the, um, you know, the, the little guy, a big guy beating a little guy, and I, 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 um, I don't know if. There might, there might be a rematch at SummerSlam, and we're gonna see what's gonna go on there. They might, might. I mean, why would not that continue this genius storyline? But this was pretty good. Pretty good. Thumbs up in that one, man. And okay, let's talk about the 30 mid Iron Man Tag Team Championship match. Um, the Hardy Boys versus Sheamus and Cesar for the tag team belt. As you know, um, Sheamus and Cesaro walked into the um, the match with the um, with the championship, and they walked off with it. Um, it became to Hardy's tree, and um, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Sheamus and Cesaro four. You know four. Three, three minutes for oh uh, whatever okay so the match itself they the, I, I thought that this was gonna be a little slow pace but I was wrong this this match here was very um was, was good I like how they start off you know a bold kick and it it, it, it felt good man it, it felt really good I would say <laughs> this match here was pretty good um as we know, uh, as we know, um, they had some pretty, pretty good spots in the air match, but um, yeah, so the Sheamus and Cesaro wins. That's good. They um, okay. 
Oh yeah, and the chemistry between Cesaro and Sheamus is just good. It's really, really good in this match, and it's showing right here with the tag team chemistry. Pretty good, man. Okay. <clears throat> what shall we talk about next? Okay. Let's talk about the women's match. Really, really good match. That um, that thing with Le Alex. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> we need to call match it scraps. Yes, Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks for the belt. Alexa Bliss as the heel, Sasha Banks as the face. Alexa is the champion. So, let's um, <clears throat> judge this match. Okay. In terms of wrestling, pretty good. And that we and the weird spot with Alexa does with her arm. But, at the brink of the point of like excitement and so forth, the climax, um, Alexa Bliss decided to um, to do a count out victory. The crowd was pissed, really, really, really pissed, really, really mad about that shit, man. But they really did save that with the bra. Really, really good bra. <laughs> Yeah, when they fight no, uh, fighting outside and so forth, that was pretty cool. They saved that shit. And it gives me a reason to watch their match at Summer Saturday. That's does the next big view. I think Battleground is a um, SmackDown Life view, right? Um, uh, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Wow, that's gonna be a shark review. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about Miz and Dean Ambrose. <sighs> wow, wow. Again, wrestling, re re wrestling the match was okay, but it just felt stale. It's stale. They did this thing to death me to rest, man. They did it last year and they're doing it again. Um, <laughs> Miz won, but. It's feeling lame, it's, it's feeling really, really still. But the match itself was good. The match itself was good. And the chemistry between... Um, <coughs> between the... Put it um, off. Oh, so I can't remember the name. God damn it. Ah, whatever. Oh, forget about that. <coughs> <coughs> So, that's pretty good. <coughs> Rivalry, stale, end it now. Okay. Let's talk about the MLS match between Brown Strowman and Roman Reigns. Wow. It's, uh, it's brilliant, man. It's really, really good. It has some blue blue spots in this match. So yeah, some blue blue spots. Good match, man. Good match. Um, <laughs> okay, so Roman Reigns tries to spare Brad Strowman, but Bronson just moves out of the way and Roman just goes into the ambulance and kind of drives away and that's it, I guess. But then, Roman Reigns, he kind of Beat, he kind of gets out to the ambulance and beats the shit out of Braun Strowman. Okay then. It kind of it kind of looks like how he did this. Um, it kind of looks like Roman is turning heel for this. Uh, yeah, he does because this is kind of like a heelish tactic. Heelish tactic. But then again. We say Van Strowman will turn heel, but then that, that depends on what Vince thinks and probably he's gonna stay face. So, but still. Awesome man, thumbs up on that shit. Okay. <clears throat> now we come to the main event. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. No. Um, may have gone on a little 
short as I expect as I didn't expect it to be so short I mean but still they started off it pretty good with um, I think it was Brock went through the table I can't remember exactly and then um, f then the bell rang and it was a ch um, choke suplex choke suplex or coquita clutch suplex coquita clutch and then conference with a suplex and Bron and then Brock Lesnar um, loses the match. I mean, I mean, oh God. I mean, Brock Lesnar hits F5, and that's it for some old Joe. Um, I mean, I don't think this hurt anybody. People's kind of little, little pissed that. I mean, some people are a little pissed that Small Joe lost, but you can't. But you gotta expect he just came in the main lost right now, and. He feels like he 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 um he 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 belongs that main event scene. He really does from from how from the from how he works, you know. It feels like he belongs in this main event scene. I say, both men came out looking pretty good, but maybe they should do um. Get Brock some more R. So I mean, get some more. Um, let him do some more moves or something because the suplex are getting a little lame. Lame. I mean, it, it had a time, but it's time to change it up a little bit. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But I guess not all that bad because the suplex shows that you know it's a dumb. It's like a you know what But still, great balls of fire. Very stupid name. This part of baby is probably gonna happen next year too. But still, good pay per view. A really, really good B show. Now for the awesome wrestling. And for the good storytelling, but we did have bad moments too. In the storytelling. But the wrestling itself was very, very solid. Very, a very good night of wrestling. <coughs> so. I give this show, let's say, a 7, I give this show a 7.8 out of 10, I could probably go higher, but that's what I, that's what I'm giving for now, because still I don't know what that Heat Slayer match was. Whatever he says, I think it was he said and card happens, I mean it's good, but I don't understand why it happens. I don't know what's going on there. He will explain to us tonight, please. But anyway. That's it for now guys. I'm out. Peace.